What's up, guys? We're back again for another Marvel Puzzle Quest video. All right, we have ascended. I've had him. I've had him ascended for a while. So ascended Quicksilver and um, Scarlet Witch, brother and sister, and best. I, I well, here, let me see. Uh, best build. Okay, so eight. This one is eleven, right? Eleven, and then this one is eighteen. So best build for Quicksilver, five three five. Weird thing about him is you can have him four five four. This deals three thousand damage at four, eight thousand at five, which is what we have it at. This deals seventeen thousand damage AOE at five, eleven thousand AOE damage at three. And they all pretty much do the same thing at 4 and 5, levels 4 to 5. But the damage-wise is kind of uh, a, a big gap. So I'd rather have single target damage higher than AoE. This one is going to pop off regardless, right? So um, the way he works, I mean... If you guys don't know already, his black ability, you can pretty much power control into green, right? And then green into putting more um, lock tiles on the board. And therefore, making this pop off, right? The more lock tiles you have, the less AP this costs. So it's like a, a cycle, right? Black feeds green, green feeds blue, blue feeds into black, making this cost less. Um, that's pretty much what you want. I like it 535 five, just because I know this deals 17,000 at um, 5. 3, it's 11k. Um, they all do the same thing from 4 to 5, like I said. But this one, the the... the the drastic drop in in uh, damage is crazy from from level five to four i think it's three thousand so i'd rather have single target uh black ability idle hands single target fist of fury and then aoe with this right 18k single target pretty good um you do not want to use scarlet which is green i have her five three five Honestly, she's really nothing. Sp oh, hey, let me see. Uh, so they both have the same health at 450, which is weird. Um, she's really nothing special in five star land. Just the AOE 15,000 uh, stun a random enemy, and then her we have her five three five. This at five throws out more purple. Um, you don't want to use hex bolt because you're going to be using quick silvers, right? to make more lock tiles to make this cost less i'd say the only situation you want to use her um hex bolt in is and this is at three by the way and it's a very like niche thing so use this to generate um black ap assuming you have like seven or eight and you think or you even know that you're gonna hit one or two black ap to generate for him to pop idle hands into making a match five for purple to hit for aoe to end the match or stun the last uh character on the enemy team that's pretty much the like the most niche niche situation you could ever use her green in or if she's solo and quicksilver happens to get down then yeah use it to generate purple but if you're not running quicksilver with her um because his green is just better um and it, it feeds his uh, blue to deal damage and black ability. You can still keep it at three, right? Five, three, five, always best build. Um, I guess use it just to generate more purple because her purple is 14 AP, not really that big of a deal. Uh, Jane Foster just annihilates her, right? And then uh, her arcane incantation, three turn blue countdown tile that transforms five random adjacent basic or team up tile to purple i wish they would fix this to uh, make uh, transform enemies uh, special tiles not just sap but just all special tiles which would be really cool 
Um, but that's pretty much it for this team. And it could get pretty crazy. Uh, both characters in 5 Star Land, you can pair them together to have fun. You can, you know, use Quicksilver by himself. You can use a Scarlet Witch by herself. You can put Beast um, on this team in 5 Star Land or 3 Star Land or 4 Star Land, wherever you want. Um, 3 Star Beast to help him pop his AoE and stuff like that because Scarlet Witch is blue. So we need to match black and green. We'll let Scarlet Witches... See, this is another thing with Scarlet Witch. They should have um, updated her or even reworked her green to destroy mo more um, tiles and generate, you know, more AP and then make her her uh, CD tile, the Arcane Incantation. That is the key ability of her kit because it helps her generate purple AP to hit for AoE and that's kind of what you want, right? Um, all right, so I'm going to get rid of Shang-Chi. They just need to make this fortified, and it'll be good. But in the meantime, matching blue is... I mean, you can counter Kang like that, right? But black and green is where it's at. And then if if you want, use Quicksilver's black ability to match purple to speed up the process for Scarlet Witch, potentially using that ability twice, three t three times uh, in one match, you know? Alright, match four. Oh, man. This is... Whoa. Tragic. Um, they do got decent health. Right? Um, let's see. So we need... We got idle hands this all right so we need to make a match five all right so eight thousand damage single target this is another cool thing if you want to use a in pvp simulator um use a use a unit that excels in blue I wouldn't say Kang because you can kind of get deadlocked with him and you know he might not be able to activate his ability um, but a really really strong blue user other than him would be nice all right Fist of Fury 18k see I'd rather have that and then Idle Hands 5 and uh, Fist of Fury 5 rather than Supersonic at 5 dealing 17,000 and you having to struggle to get that when you're going to be dealing consistent damage with Idle Hands and Fists of Fury. Right? If blue, if, if Supersonic pops, it pops. If it doesn't, then you don't got to worry about it. You're still manipulating the board and locking the enemy out with Fists of Fury and Idle Hands. And you're feeding into Scarlet Witch's purple, assuming that's what you want to do. Right? So we'll make that. Uh, let's see. We have one, two, three. All right. They're probably going to match. We got two turns. This has one turn left. Another thing, if Scarlet Witch's CD tile is, is in any of the... Well, out. Uh, yeah, any of the corners, and it's going to pop. It rarely pops in, in these two top corners, but if it does, it's going to kind of not be good because, you know, there's just... You're going to get like one or two. One or two tiles, max. All right, she has uh, 46,000, 45. Kang. See, Kang has four blue. Don't know how, but he does. And this is kind of tragic because they're going to match that. And there's nothing we can do. All right, this is, Oh, they didn't match it? There we go. There's a match five. Shang-Chi's gone. For this, for this team to be able to even compete with Shang-Chi in some way, shape, or form, I'm not saying that they're better than him. But take that out of context. Shang-Chi is, is, you know... He's just... The it character besides Colossus, right? But uh, this is pretty insane to be able to lock characters out with this team. Idle hands. We have 14 purple. Let's pop this. Of course. Is it going to stun? Okay, it stuns. Usually when it downs a character, um, it doesn't activate her stun, but... Since he's the last one, I'm guessing that it was going to stun him regardless. Because if, if the stun was going towards Thor, it, would, it wouldn't have transferred over to Kang. Um, oh, fun fact. Outside of this, 
uh, team. So in in uh, sap tile order, protect tiles, trump attack tiles, attack tiles, trump strike tiles. So with Polaris, just make sure you don't have any attack tiles on the board or protect tiles because those are going to trump over strike tiles and just obliterate them on the board, right? You're just going to you're going to overrun the board with attack or protect tiles or strikes. Just throwing that out there. All right, um and match 5. This is just so good. This is why you need a blue user on this team, right? This is 2-day PVP by the way. Just showcasing them how they are. Um, for two-day PvP with the Loner Thor. Um, this is pretty nice. I do... Okay, so five and five. So, also swap the position to select the tiles. Okay. Basic stats. Cost one AP less for every locked team-up tile on the board. Uh, and locks one random team-up tile. Cost one AP less for every locked team-up tile on the board minimum to five. Okay, so fun fact. I didn't pay attention to Fist of Fury, and I didn't realize that Fist of Fury, um, I didn't realize that it reduces its AP cost as well. Really nice. I don't know if that's a thing that, just because it's in 5 star land or whatnot, but I like it. And GG's, we pretty much win. We didn't even see, we didn't activate blue. Wait, can't, oh no, he's, he's downed anyways. But yeah, that's Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver, um... Uh, 2-day PvP.